So here you are at this momentous occasion. You see, you had this great idea. It's a fantastic idea. And you told your boss about it. Your boss loved this idea. And you told your boss's boss about it. And he also loved this idea. And so what happened is they called all the board of directors to come for you to present this idea. And by the way, this idea of yours changes everything. It changes how the company does their work. It changes the company's bottom line. And it changes you. As in, it changes your position. It gives you a promotion. And it gets you noticed by the company. So this is a momentous occasion. Now, a lot of people will be scared by this. Because, oh gosh, how do I sell this idea to all these people? So I'm going to give you a few tips. Three tips, in fact. The first tip is to use structure. Now, if you're going to sell an idea, it needs to be structured. Now, what's the structure? It's very simple. The introduction, the main points, and the close. That's it. The introduction, the main points, and the close. Now, when we're talking about the introduction, your introduction shouldn't be, uh, you know, good morning, you know, folks. Uh, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm here to present to you uh, a talk called no I'm, oh guys come on that's oh, boring it's very boring okay and you're not going to capture anyone's attention the introduction needs to be exciting the introduction needs to capture their attention the introduction needs to rivet everybody to their seats looking forward to what you are going to say to them so the introduction needs to be well not shocking but it needs to capture their attention okay and then right after the introduction you go to point um, your main points which is point one point two point three it sh it's plus minus three points and three points is nice because people can remember it easily and make sure when you're presenting the three points point one point two point three make sure they're segregated very well don't mix up all the three points because what you want the board of directors to be able to do is to go back to their teams and to explain it perfectly. And they can only explain it perfectly if they remember it perfectly. And they can only remember it perfectly if you segregate your points and you have a few main points. So point one, point two, point three, three points plus minus. And then you close. Now, your closing should reinforce everything that they have heard during your talk. I don't care if it's a five minute talk, one hour talk, one day talk. The close needs to reaffirm what they have listened so they can remember it. Okay, so it's memorable. Now, to sell any idea to any crowd, number one, I covered use structure. Number two, you have to be able to sell what's in it for them. So number two is sell what's in it for them. Don't just talk about yourself, how you are gonna do it, how what's your plan for this, well, you might want to mention it, but you want to be able to sell the benefits to the people who are listening. Okay, uh, for example, dentists, you notice they don't sell braces, they sell the fact that it's going to make someone very confident, right? So they sell to their patients, this is going to make you extremely confident. They don't sell, oh, the braces has you know, 12 pieces, so you know, it's silver in color, right? So sell what's in it for them, sell the benefits for them okay so that's number two number three you need to be able to tell stories now if you want to sell any idea to any crowd you need to be able to tell great stories now I have this YouTube video initiative coming up that's uh, based loosely on what Khan Academy has done and I'm gonna put the entire Malaysian school syllabus into YouTube videos okay so to sell this idea I tell them a story of John now John was this uh, orphan that I met uh, four years ago. And you know, back then I was tutoring orphanages. And you know, John was Form 3, um, which is year nine, you know, year nine. And he was having trouble with fractions. Okay, so 0 0.7, 0 0.8, he doesn't know what it is, okay, or how it comes about. So I was trying to explain to him Form 3 syllabus, he doesn't understand. Form 1 doesn't understand, Standard 4 doesn't understand. I went all the way down to Standard 1. And I asked John, John, what is half plus half? John looked at me. He thought, 
thought about it for a while. And then you said, 1 over 4. And I was shocked. Form 3, year 9, half plus half is 1 over 4. No wonder he hates school. No wonder nothing makes sense to him. So here's what I did. I took a roll of newspaper, rolled it up, and said, John, how many newspapers is this? He looked at me and said, huh, um, one. It's one newspaper. It's like, fantastic. Now I'm going to tear it into half, okay? So now, how many newspapers are there on my left hand? He said, half. Okay, how many on my right hand? Half. Fantastic. Now, if I take half plus half and I put them back together again, what do you get? And you can see John's face light up. I mean, it's like this eureka moment that suddenly, suddenly, he finally gets it. And I'm very angry that in nine years that John was in school, nobody explained that to him. And it's because of that that you need to support our initiative so that all our kids will not be left behind ever again by our schooling system. So what did I just do? I told you a story. And this is the, you know, this is what I say to, to people who want to sponsor us, who want to advertise with us, who want to fund our initiatives. So if you want to sell an idea to any crowd, the easiest way is to tell a story because a story grabs them in. Suddenly, they're imagining John. They're imagining the situation. They're imagining the newspaper. Suddenly, they are imagining the, the entire scenario in their head is no longer just your initiative, it's theirs because they are imagining it. So the easiest way to be able to sell any idea to any crowd and to be effective is to number one, use structure. Number two, make sure you sell what's in it for them. And number three, tell stories. Okay, And when you can do all these three, you'll be able to sell any idea to anyone. I don't care who. It could be your wife, it could be your girlfriend, it could be your boyfriend, it could be your husband, it could be your, your colleague, it could be your boss, it could be your kid. Your kid who comes up to you and says, Daddy, I don't want to study anymore. And you can use this. And when you're really effective selling ideas, your life becomes much better. You will be a lot wealthier and your relationships will improve beyond anything you have today.